everybody, welcome to my channel, Angela Rose Style. I know I have not done a video in a while. Um, sorry about that. And just, I don't know, there's just been a lot of things going on. <coughs> um, yeah. So today I have school, math class. Um, it's a review day, I think. Or we're just learning new stuff. I don't know. My final exam for math class is next week. I hope I do good. There's like, seriously, there, it's like all of the chapters. So like, it's, I'm kind of nervous. Um, okay, anyways, um, so I know I usually start, like, these videos with, like, my brows done and, like, dirty concealer, but, um, it's okay. I'm not gonna do that today. Um, instead, I'm gonna use this guy, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is an ebony. Um, not that I don't like the way that I've been doing my eyebrows, it's just, um, oh my god, see, there's still glitter on my face from the other day. Hold on. I think it's because the like, glitter got on my pillow, so like now it's just on my face. Okay, anyways. Um, I really like these because they are so natural. And there's like a decent amount of color options. Which, obviously, Anastasia is, like, known for their brow products. Um, obviously, I'm gonna use the other end. Yeah, I'm, like, literally graduating soon. It's crazy to me. Um, yesterday I went and got my cap and gown. It's like a gray silver, which I feel is kind of weird, but I'm okay with it. Um, I also went to get um, a dress to wear with it, and I don't know why, I have this like vision in my head that it should be like a red and sparkly and pretty, but do you know, I had the hardest time finding a red sparkly dress. Like, I didn't think it'd be that fucking hard. But apparently it is. And I literally went to two different malls. <laughs> um, which is mm, crazy. Uh, yeah. And I already have like tons of shoes that I own. So I'm just going to pick a pair. It's like my shirt. It's Van Halen. I got it from Kohl's the other day. My mom and I also went there looking for dresses. But like, obviously, since it's like, you know, spring, approaching summer, um, everything is really like bright and like floral and that's not necessarily what I'm looking for. Um, so I have, a, I always have songs stuck in my head, I don't know why, but, um, right now I have, um, um, it's a, it's a, um, oh my god, I can't even think of the band, good lord, um, Fleetwood Mac song, good lord, um, uh, with Stevie Nicks. Break the change, is that what it is? Um, yeah. It's like one of my favorite songs. I don't know why these eyebrow hairs are shorter than these, and I don't know why. I'm so angry. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, now I'm going to do my concealer. I don't even know what I'm going to use, because I don't know where, it's okay, I'll figure this out, I'll use this, um, yeah, sorry, I'm trying to find things, I have like a stack of brushes literally right here, um, that I need to clean today, later today when I get home from school, Oh. 
Okay, so I guess I'm not gonna do the foundation. Oh, I'm just kidding. I will. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I swear. I know what I'm doing. Okay, um, so I use, like, the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. This is M1. Um, yeah, and then I'm actually gonna take the other one that I have, which is 1C. Okay. Where's my concealer brush? I actually don't know, so I'm just gonna use this. <laughs> this is a like fluffy eyeshadow brush, I think. It's um a Mikasa E three hundred. Hang on if you can see that. Um, yeah. These brushes are actually pretty nice. Um they're kind of expensive, but I'm probably gonna get more at some point. I don't know. It's kind of crazy though that like, I mean, there are brands out there that are cheaper that have like really good brushes. Like, I think it's Delium. I don't think you actually pronounce the B. Like it's spelled Bedelium, but it, it's Delium. I don't know. I usually get those at uh, makeup shows. You know, I'm just gonna put um, a little bit more in manner corners. Cause I have, I have really, I don't know why, I have really bad like dark circles, and um, yeah, maybe a little too much, but I'll live. I still have a summer class to paint. You know how annoying that is? Like, mm, but it's okay. Um, I literally, okay, so I'm taking, like, over the summer, I'm taking, um, Earth Science Lab, because I never took a fucking lab class. So there's that. Um, but I'd rather do Earth Science and Biology, because, I don't know, I love Earth. Love the Earth. Love nature. I think it's, I think it's cool, the way everything works. I don't know. Um, excuse me. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do my eyes now. Okay, so I have this, um, Colourpop My Little Pony palette, and I actually, I don't think I've ever used it. Oh, well, I might have. <laughs> um, I really like this shade. Um, but first I'm going to... I'm gonna use my same brush. I like just do my concealer with because it's not dirty. It's literally just like nothing on it. Anyway, so um, I'm gonna start with this color. This is Bluebell. I thought this collaboration was really, really cute. I wish I got like other stuff from it, but it's okay. or something like it will come along um yeah anyways um back to summer class oh my god anyways um yeah okay so i'm taking the earth shine slab class and then, um, I have, okay, well I don't have to, but I'm going to, um, there's this Math 102 class, which I don't really know what Math 102 consists of, but, yeah, and it's fucking online, that's literally the only option, but anyways, um, I'm taking it so I don't have to take it at ISU, um, which, I don't know why, but I kind of have in my head that classes would be harder over ISU versus like a community college. I don't know if that's like actually true. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm just going to take this color, this blue color. This is called Snuzzle. That's a really weird color. I 
think this kind of glow is really good with my shirt because of all the blue. This is so pretty. Guys, never be afraid to use colors. Like, this, see, this is like such, it's not super bright and it's still, like, you could wear this every day, just like I'm wearing it right now. Like, I know a lot of people are scared of color, but you really shouldn't be. I mean, unless you seriously know nothing about color. Like, color theory is actually a real thing. Sorry, Nikita Dragon, but it is. It fucking is. Anyways, so, oh my god, I fucking read that, um, Cardi B is coming out with a makeup line. Like, really? Do you, not, you, you don't have anything better to do than your fucking music? Like, seriously, you already fucking make millions off that shit? Like, it's literally, it, this seems like the fucking latest thing that every like fucking celebrity has to come out with a fucking makeup line it's annoying like not once has she ever said anything about liking art or liking makeup or having a passion for it her only passion that she's been outward about is fucking music so you're now all of a sudden just gonna be like hey i'm gonna do a makeup line like no no and like seriously okay so i don't know if you guys know this but Okay, so like the best drama channel is Here for the Tea. Yeah. And Tea Spill? Tea Spilled? Tea Spill, I think. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm linking this a little bit. Um, they had a video, well, Here for the Tea, I think, had a video forever ago um, about, maybe it was Here for the Tea. I don't know if it was somebody else. I think it was the actual makeup artist that did it. Anyways. Cardi B, I guess, um, had a makeup artist one time, and she wasn't being, like, that nice to- Um, yeah, she wasn't being that nice to her, and she just, like, was talking, like, mad crap about her, and, like, made her artist feel like crap, and, like, that's just so shitty. Like, mm. and this girl, like, in the video, she talks about, like, literally what exactly happened, um, Sorry, I'm freaking talking. I'm gonna take this color, uh, Firefly. I'm gonna put it on my inner corner. But anyways, um, yeah, she just was super fucking rude to her, and like that is literally my fear. Like, obviously, I don't work on celebrities or anything like that, cause well, I'm just little old me. But um, that would that would scar me for fucking life. I don't know. I wouldn't know how to handle that. Sometimes I'm a hostile person, so I seriously would not know how to handle that. I'd probably tell the bitch to go fuck herself, I'm not gonna lie here. Like, obviously you're not supposed to tell clients like that, but, um... If somebody's disrespecting you while you're doing your profession, trying to make them look good when you know what the fuck you're doing... Go ham. Honestly. This is really blue. I love this with this shirt. Okay. <coughs> Anyways. Um. I'm gonna do my face. Um. Let's see. Alright. I'm gonna take this, uh, Wet n Wild foundation brush. And I'm gonna, well, actually first, I'm gonna use this. I just got this the other day. I still have the other one. It was a little crazy how things change. Anyways, um, just gonna spray this bad boy in my face. Alright. Okay, anyways, um, <laughs> Kiehl's, what is it, Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I know this is weird, but I'm going to dip my brush in here. I'm only grabbing a little. And obviously I can do that because this is like my own stuff, I own it. Um, Obviously, you would never do this if you were working on someone. But anyways, um, 
<coughs> yeah, if you're ever looking for a drama channel, um, go to Here for the Tea. She recently, she has been off, um, Instagram and, well not maybe Instagram, but YouTube lately, but I think yesterday she literally just came back and started doing videos again. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm like pretty sure, like 70%. That's how sure I am. I really like uh, this lotion because it does hydrate very nicely. Yes, I'm going to hydrate my neck because <laughs> I know sometimes people really focus on their face more than their neck, but like when you're, when you're like 60, you don't want your face to look super good and your neck to look like a fucking turkey's neck. So, honestly, some people are funny, but yeah, it's the truth. Anyways, um... I'm also going to use this Clinique Moisture Surge <coughs> Intense Skin Fortifying Hydrator. Ooh. Um, I really like this stuff. It smells like kind of like flower chemicals. I know that um does not sound satisfying, but um it just smells good, so and it, I don't know, it is really hydrating. This is the one of the things that I really do like to have on my skin. Especially when it's like dry and dirt. noticed but I started doing like story highlights and I think I'm gonna be doing that a lot more on Instagram um, also just so you know I do have a Facebook page but um it's not really popping like my Instagram um, I don't know that's just the way it is I guess I don't know I don't have a lot of followers followers on Facebook but I also don't like advertise it that much, so that's kind of my fault. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbing now. Um, I'm gonna take this Naked Skin, okay, sorry, Urban Decay Naked Skin, um, one and done hybrid complexion perfector, and this has SPF 20 in it. This is in the shade light. Now, I get that a lot of companies need darker tones. me like this this is fine if you're using a little bit of it because it does it is a little orangey and it is darker than my actual skin tone um but it does blend in nicely and it you can you can kind of make it look like it's your skin tone if that makes sense um i'm just gonna put some on my hand So, see, it does. I also don't want too much. So. See, you can tell it's. Okay, maybe not on camera, but I can tell, like, in my own mirror. Oh, this is a little dark. Maybe I'll try, um, um, what is it, the, um, I'm trying to think of the name, um, this is that brand, the It Cosmetics, don't they have like BB creams and CC creams, I think, 
never used them, but um, they might have a nice pale one. Yeah, this like doesn't really have a lot of coverage, um, as you can tell. But that's okay. Sorry, I'm just really in love with my eye makeup right now. I keep staring at myself. <laughs> Do you guys just ever stare at yourself, like when you have your makeup done and you're just like, ooh, like I like this, like I don't. I don't know if it's normal, but I do. Yeah, so this is definitely something, um, when you're just looking for something super light, um, with SPF, like, maybe you're gonna go to the beach, or swimming, or something. Um, I'm wearing it today because, I don't know, it's just been rainy, and I don't feel like wearing super heavy makeup because I wore kind of heavy makeup the other day and then I just, oh, I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> okay. Let me get the rest off my hand. Slime, whatever, last little bit. Okay, um, go with that. So, back to this concealer. I'm gonna use the one that I used before. God, I'm so hungry. I'm supposed to eat. That just happened. I just got my thumb. Alright, anyways. Um. So obviously. So obviously, I can't use this brush anymore because it has eyeshadow on it. Sorry, I'm like running out of brushes. I really need to clean them. There's some busy. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Uh, this is not necessarily concealer brush, it's more for eyeshadow. This is a Sonia Kashik number 116. Oh, this is old and I kinda I don't I like the fibers, but I feel like they're a little hard, like they're not soft, but it's okay. So I was watching Riverdale this morning, because it's on the CW, which is not on Sling, so I watch it the day after. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's really, really good if you have not seen it, so you should. Um, it's fucking crazy, like the episode I was watching this morning, oh my god. Like, I don't want to give any spoilers away if you haven't seen it, but oh my god, it's fucking crazy. And, like, I don't know, they always, like, even when you think, like, it's like, how, how are they going to do this? Like, what, what, what worst thing are they going to come up next for, like, these kids to go through? But, um, they, these writers, I don't know who the fuck they are, but they do not disappoint. I gotta warm it a little bit more, but I'm really excited for um 
for like family for um my like graduation and birthday because like my graduation is May 18th and then my birthday is June 1st which ironically I mean I don't know if it matters if I tell the world this but um so like obviously my dad died like six seven years ago I don't, I don't even know I try not to keep track because then I'll get uber sad but anyways um yeah, she just looks like real skin, but like, you can still see like, my freckles and stuff. Okay, anyway, sorry, getting off track. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, he died like forever ago, and so like my mom, she had a boyfriend, which I'm not going to get into that, um, and he recently passed away from cancer, so that's really sad, but his memorial is literally on the day of my birthday, which is not... It's not, it's not, I don't, I don't care. It's, it's okay. It's, um, it's not my mom's fault. It's his daughter's fault, but it's okay. Anyways, um, at least it's not on my graduation. Um, well, yeah, so that's just kind of weird. Because I was going to do birthday makeup, but if I'm going to go to a funeral, I shouldn't be wearing glitter. So, I probably, I don't know, I might do one later in the day then, I don't know what time it's at. If not, maybe I'll do it June 2nd, but yeah, I just know that I will be doing, um, one for, um, birthday makeup. Okay. Um, you love me now, you love me now. Yeah. Okay, I need to stop getting distracted. ADH, she is a real motherfucker. Um, okay, so I, I'm gonna pink, this pink color. This is the Narcissist Unfiltered 2 palette. So I think this is actually gone by now. I don't think they're selling them anymore. So sorry if you don't have it and you want it. Um, So I'm really proud of myself. Okay, so my mom, she's just different from me. We are just different people, which sometimes is hard. But um, anyways, um, for the longest time, she would buy plastic water bottles. I know, plastic. Anyways, um. I finally con convinced her to get a reusable water bottle. So literally the other day, like my mom and I went to Marshalls. I even posted about it on Instagram. That's where I found the Marc Jacobs um, lipstick. Anyways, um, yeah. So I finally convinced her, which I'm really happy about. Okay. What um. Highlighter should I do? I don't even really know. I have so many. Oh, you know what I should do? That will totally go with this. Is this. So this is the Fenty Beauty Fenty Beauty. Um, kilowatt highlighter in chills and so it's like this and I figured that would go so good with this and so good with this so yeah let's do this um, highlighter brush. oh actually I need something a little bit harder. I'm gonna use this. I got this from a go with the MAC Fruity Juicy Collection. This is a 125 SE, so of course they don't have this kind anymore. Um, but yeah, just gonna tab it. See, look how much is already on there. I don't think I want. I don't know. I don't think I want a super bright highlight. 
but I still want bitches to know I'm here. The thing about the, the thing about these though is that they're like more glittery than anything, which is kind of annoying. Oh yeah, but um, also I got um a like along with my cap and gown, I got this like really nice um I don't know how I feel about this. Anyways, um, I got a really nice um diploma holder frame thing. I, I, you'll, I'll post it once I get my diploma, but, um, yeah. It's really nice. It says, like, Wabonzi on it, because it's where I go. Um, and it's just really pretty. It's, like, black and gold, which is, like, kind of my thing. Like, you can tell by, like, the curtains and, like, the gold chair right there. And the black and gold table. <laughs> um, yeah. That's kind of my thing. I know I'm just going to math class today, but I just love highlighter. Well, actually, I'm also going to Woodman's, I think. My mom. Because, okay, so I love Whole Foods bagels, everything bagels. I know I posted them on Instagram before. <coughs> um, um, and... Um, hold up, sorry. I didn't reach over to get this. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? So this is a Jeffree Star lip scrub. Uh, I, I like his products, but I feel morally conflicted because I feel like a person's behavior and personality should not depict how we feel about their product, but it's also like, hey, we're giving this racist our money. And racism is not cool. Nor is parking in handicapped spots. That's fucked up. Uh, so honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to buy anything else of his. Uh... I don't know. It's a tough decision. If you do, that's okay. I do not judge you. Uh, I just think it's really fucked up, like, what he says and what he does. Like, he literally called Jackie A-I-N-A, -I, -A, I think, um, a gorilla. I don't even want to say that. I just feel so gross saying that. Um, that, that pisses me off. <sighs> I'm so tired of all... The outpouring of racism, especially because we have Trump in our office. It's annoying and unwanted and it needs to go back to the darkest depths of the earth. This freaking sugar straw really likes to stand on your lips. Uh -huh. Um, go quickly. Oh my god, this video is seen forever. Sorry. Um, I talk a lot. I don't mean to. Okay, so I'm gonna use this really quickly. Uh, just to hydrate. This is the Pat McGrath, whatever. I don't even fucking know. Um, lip fetish. Lip fetish. Which now I actually think there's several colors, but anyways. Um, so real quick, I'm going to do my mascara. This is the new, um, oh my gosh, I didn't even say anything. Milk Makeup, um, Waterproof Kush Mascara. And I am really excited to use this because, um, well, it's waterproof. <laughs> but not only that, because it's new and, um... I don't know why, but I used to have the old Urban Decay waterproof mascara, like the old one, like the one that had like the 
the funky um, design on it and stuff, but I don't know what happened to it. I think I like gave it to somebody, which was like not my brightest idea. But it's okay. Anyways, this mascara is really nice. Um, yeah. Ow. Oh, uh, what, um, anyways, I did want to say, um, my mom's boyfriend died of cancer, and so if any of you have ever lost a loved one to cancer or anything, or just lost a loved one in general, um, I am very sorry, and, um, I know what it's like, and just so you know that they are not in pain anymore. Um... And also, sorry, I don't know why my, like, makeup videos always get dark. I don't think I'm gonna do any on the bottom. I don't know, actually, I'm gonna... I know I saw it earlier. I'm do elf. Elf on the bottom since it's so natural. This is just the mineral mascara, I think. I don't even know if it's still out anymore. Oh, also, um, I got the Charlotte Tilbury lightgasm palette which honestly i really wish i got both even though i know the other one is for darker skin tones um i don't know it would have been nice to play with it <coughs> but yeah i'm gonna be doing a little mini review of that later on my um insta ow that fucking hurt oh god like stabbed myself with this. <gasps> this is so hard not to cry. Mm. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, anyways, <laughs> um, where did I put that lipstick? There it is. Okay, so this is the Kat Von D shade Mother. I don't know if this is still out. I got this as part of a trio, like, limited edition trio, like, during Christmas. Uh, but I just thought this color would go really pretty with blue. I like this really. I'm so nervous to go away for college. But uh, baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. If you do not know that line, get the fuck off my channel. Just kidding. It's from Rugrats. Well, obviously, if you don't know that, then you're not a millennial. Okay, so this is the finished look, which I actually really, really like. Um, this is a little bit more purple, but it's coming off a little red in here. But that is okay. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for watching and listen to me blabber on. Um, and please subscribe.